of the day. This is Ms. Tabasso. As you know that we have already started with the topic The Land Lady by Roald Dahl. In the previous part, we have seen that Billy Weaver, a boy of 17 years old, reached Bath, which is a city in southwestern England. It was about 9 o'clock in the evening and the weather was very cold and icy. So, Billy asked the porter if he could get a hotel nearby. The porter suggested him to go to the Bell and Dragon. So, Billy took up his suitcase and started to walk quickly down the street. As he was walking through the street, he noticed tall identical houses on each side of the road. The front of the buildings of each houses were cramped and uneven due to lack of care and negligence. It looked ramshackle, shabby and dilapidated. So, Billy started to walk a little further. Suddenly, he caught sight of a printed notice propped up against the glass. In it were written bed and breakfast. He moved a little closer. He saw green curtains hung on either side of the window. He peeped through the glass and then he saw a bright fire burning in the fireplace. There were nice furniture in the room. He also saw that there was a sofa, an armchair and a piano with three legs. So Billy thought that it would be a very comfortable place for him to stay. Now let's move to the further part of the story. Here it goes. After dithering in the cold for two or three minutes, Billy decided that he would take a look at the bell and dragon before making up his mind. As he turned to go, his eye was caught and held in the most peculiar manner by the small notice, bed and breakfast. It said, bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast. Each word was like a large black eye staring at him, holding him, compelling him, forcing him to stay and before he knew, he was actually moving to the front door of the house, climbing the steps and reaching for the bell. He pressed the bell. Before moving to bed and breakfast, Billy thought that he would at least go and see the bell and dragon too. But as he was about to turn and move, his eyes became strangely fixed on the printed notice, bed and breakfast. He felt as if the words were gazing at him and preventing him to move further. He also felt as if he was getting captivated by those appalling words, bed and breakfast. Without his own will, he was getting drawn to the front door of the house. He climbed the stairs and finally reached for the bell. After that, he rang the bell. In this paragraph, the writer begins building suspense as Billy Weaver cannot seem to walk away and rings the bell without thinking. He hadn't even removed his finger from the bell button. The door swung open and a woman popped out just like a jack in the box. It made him jump. She was about 45 or 50 years old. Please come in, she said, giving him a warm, welcoming smile. Billy found himself automatically walking forward. The desire to follow after her was extraordinarily strong. As soon as Billy pressed the doorbell, 
instantly a lady around 45 to 50 years old happily welcomed him inside the house billy entered the house as if he was being hypnotized the compulsion or more accurately the desire to follow after the landlady was extremely strong and billy did not have any choice here the narrator uses the word jack in the box to emphasize the speed at which the landlady answers the door i saw the notice in the window he said i was wondering about a room billy said that he was actually looking for a room and suddenly he caught sight of the printed notice kept against the window it's all ready for you my dear she said the landlady replied that the room was all ready for him the suspense grew more with the landlady's comment that the room was already ready for billy she had a round pink face and very gentle blue eyes here the narrator describes the appearance of the landlady that she had round pink face and eyes which were blue and gentle i knew you would come the landlady said that she knew that billy would surely come and this sentence creates more suspense she seemed terribly nice billy took off his hat and stepped over the threshold so billy took off his hat and sets his foot on the entrance door as he found the landlady as extremely amicable just hang it there she said the landlady said billy to hang his hat and coat in the hanger near the entrance door there were no other hats no coats no umbrellas and no walking sticks nothing as billy was about to put his hat and coat in the hanger near the entrance door he noticed that there were no other hats or coats or umbrellas or any walking sticks it means that he was the only visitor over there we have it all to ourselves you see it isn't very often i have the pleasure of taking a visitor into my little nest she said smiling as she laid the way upstairs the landlady smilingly replied billy that very rarely any visitor pay a visit to their residence and then she started to walk upstairs to show billy his room the word little nest is an allusion as it compares the landlady to an insect maybe a wasp or a spider awaiting her next victim the old girl is slightly dotty billy thought although the landlady seemed perfectly nice on the surface billy thought that she was something more than a little eccentric billy also assumed her to be fundamentally harmless it is such a great pleasure when i open the door and i see someone standing there who is just exactly right she paused and added like you her blue eyes travel slowly all the way down the length of billy's body to his feet and then up again the landlady said that she feels extremely elated whenever she finds any visitor as 
hardly any visitor comes to her residence she took a little pause and then added that she liked billy and then had a view of his from head to toe and up again they climbed up to the third floor and this is your room i do hope you will like it she took him into a small but charming front bedroom switching on the light as she went in so billy and the landlady climbed up to the third floor of the landlady's residence and the landlady showed billy a room and said that it was his and she also said that she hoped billy would like it after switching on the light they went inside another room which was small but attractive now here we have word meanings number 1 dithering it means hesitating because of being unable to decide second peculiar means strange third compelling means appealing or captivating fourth jack in the box it's a child's toy that consists of a box with a doll inside it that jumps out when the lid is opened and gives you a surprise fifth threshold means the floor at the bottom of a doorway sixth dotty it is an informal british word for someone who is slightly crazy or likely to do strange things now here we have reference to the context i knew you would come question number 1 who is the speaker here answer the landlady is the speaker here second to whom is she talking answer she is talking to billy weaver third who she knew would come answer she knew that billy weaver would come that's all for the day i hope you well understood the lesson we'll be continuing the remaining part of the story in my next lecture do like and subscribe Thank you. Have a great day ahead.